Tonight, each politician standing by their innocence. Thank you for joining us on 13 News Now at 6. I'm Janet Roach. And I'm David Allen. We have live team coverage following the controversy surrounding Governor Northam and now Lieutenant Governor Fairfax. Ali Weatherton live in Norfolk and Stephen Graves live in Richmond tonight with the latest from the Capitol. Stephen, kick it off. Hey David, well today was all about getting back to business while Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax responds to this sexual assault allegation. Today he was asked if he thinks Northam or his supporters are behind it. Today, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax taking a break from session, setting the record straight. The leader facing a fight against sexual assault allegations amid a time when Virginia politics is shrouded in controversy. Everything was 100% consensual when I was 25 years old, unmarried, uh, a campaign staffer uh, at the time, and uh, we hit it off. She was uh, you know, very interested in me. Fairfax says the story, which dates back to 2004 at a Democratic National Convention, was previously researched by the Washington Post and proven to be false. He questions the timing of the allegations. It's while Governor Ralph Northam faces calls to resign after this photo surfaced, which depicts a man in blackface and another in a KKK robe printed under Northam's name in a 1984 yearbook. I don't know uh, precisely where this is coming from. I, you know, we've heard uh, different things, but, but here's the thing. Uh, does anybody think it's any coincidence that on the eve uh, of potentially uh, my being elevated, that that's when this uncorroborated smear comes out? Does anybody believe that's a coincidence? Meanwhile, lawmakers in the House and Senate did not have much to say about the turmoil as they face a tight deadline to pass bills. We just have to do our job. And that's what we're going to do. House Speaker Kirk Cox still calling on the governor to resign. And obviously on impeachment, that's a very high standard. Um, and so I think that's why we have called for the resignation. We hope that's what the governor does. Fairfax still not giving a concrete yes or no on if he thinks the governor should step down. There's a lot of uncertainty right now uh, in our government, uh, but we always have to be prepared. And Fairfax says the latest he has spoken to the governor was after that press conference on Saturday. We're still waiting on an official statement as well. He has said, Governor Northam, that he will not resign, but we will be here tomorrow continuing to cover the latest. Live in Richmond, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.